Old man in here on chain said, goes back a long, long way. To medieval times and even Roman days they say. But whereabouts did this all start? Well, here's a story true. That gives some indication if you're looking for a clue. The coal we hew, the coal we fill, and hold it to the shaft. Another load heads down the hill, another deer's hard graft. In 1367, good King Edward's request came. 600 tons of coal required and ordered in his name. To use for burning lime to make the mortar for the stone. Repairing Windsor Castle, so the archive deeds have shown. The coal we hew, the coal we fill, then haul it to the shaft. Another load heads down the hill, another deer's hard graft. One latent's coal mines were the source that sent supplies before. A thriving industry was there, and coal was at its core. Pit men and keelmen working hard with danger all around. Men, women and their children who were working underground. The coal we hew, the coal we fill and haul it to the shaft. Another load heads down the hill, another deer's hard graft. The coal was taken by pack horse to steeds down on the Tyne. At Bladen and at Stella too, the keelboats all in line. The keels down river took the load to where the big ships lay. Transferred the coal into the holds, they did this night and day. The coal we hew, the coal we fill, then haul it to the shaft. Another load heads down the hill, another deer's hard graft. The loaded ships went off to sea, to London and beyond. While huge increase in coal demand caused mining to respond. And soon pits opened far and wide, a new age they would bring. When Leighton's mines helped pave the way, and coal would now be king. The coal we hew, the coal we fill, then haul it to the shaft. Another load heads down the hill, another deer's hard graft.